What it do? It's your boy Chim the General, man. We back with another. Fuck off. Video. Oh, oh, let's go. Oh, hey. Man, y'all already know what time it is, man. We got Inglewood Family Blood Kill on Instagram Live. This Nipsey Hustle's death. I guess the dude's name was Indian Red. Man, we about to get into this, man. Uh, make sure y'all like, comment, share, subscribe. Make sure y'all want follow me on Instagram and all that, man. Y'all already know what time it is. Time to get to it. You dig? They say he one of them ghetto boys in the bush way. That's the mentality that keep niggas sick. Come on, dog. You think you're a pit? You meant to grow here. And that's what you picked? Don't worry about me, nigga. See, that is your problem. You always run to your mouth. Remember what mom had that electric problem? Did you help her out? The wine died, nigga. Do died, nigga. Cause he died, nigga. Debo died. And you could have been with him. If you didn't make it out that job, by Remember when you... Man, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of EOS. It's 1090 Jake, and I'm rocking with y'all, and y'all rocking with me. Shout out to Jake, man. You know what I mean? In this video, we're going to be speaking on the Inglewood family gangster blood that was shot and killed on Instagram Live. And it may have been because he switched hoods, or it may have been because he disrespected the Nipsey. This dude switch hoods? You can't switch hoods, man. That's what they call hood hopping. And they don't take that well. Hustle Mural. July 8th, 2000. And definitely can't disrespect Nipsey Hustle Mural, man. But let, let, hold on. Before we even get to that, this is crazy. The fact that they thought it was a good thing to diss the mural was way out of pocket. I'm going to explain further as we go. 2021, around 4.10 in the afternoon, Hawthorne police received a call for a shooting off Chadron Ave. For a man who was shot in the face. Arriving on scene at the Activist State's apartment complex, police. Mind you, I seen a, the video live. I seen it. It was not a good sight to see. I don't like seeing stuff like that. You know what I mean? This would locate a gray Chevy in the back parking lot with multiple bullet holes in the front windshield and a dead 21 year old man in the front seat. Well, and the dude was 21. Dude wasn't even older than me, bro. This this what I be talking about, man. Yo, this this bruh. It was reported he was shot multiple times. It's alleged he was shot a total of twelve times by the number of gunshots heard on video. And he was identified as Zarel Rivera, but more commonly known on social media as Indian Red, a member of the Inglewood family gangster bloods. Now IFGB has been around as long as gang banging itself, but more recently made headlines on social media. When one of its members, who goes by the name Capone, decided to vandalize the Nipsey Hustle mural with the aftermath being posted to World Style and gaining damn near half a million views. Capone, oh huh? God, Capone. And see, this, all right, let, let me get into this right here, right? Now, first I'll start off by saying I'm a civilian, so I'm not into that gang stuff, none of that woo woo, right? But I am from South Central. So, I see stuff like this and go, bro, why you didn't diss Nipsey in the first place? Just because he's from the wrong, just because he's not from your hood? Like, oh, he's not from here. Those are enemies, so forget him. The nigga ain't dissed y'all, man. What song or anything you seen Nipsey diss y'all? When? Like, Nipsey wasn't dissing people. He was just representing his hood. He was a neighborhood dude, so he ro ro neighborhood rolling. He was that was him. He wasn't dissing y'all though, so for y'all to go and diss his mirror while he did and all that, that's out of pocket, bro. He was trying to bring people together. Y'all trying to separate people. That, and it's the young dudes. That's why I seen a picture when Nipsey died. It was a picture of a whole bunch of OGs coming together. I said, "Where's the young dudes at?" We not worrying about the OGs. The OGs did their thing back then. It's the young ones right now. And where's the OGs at, man? Because this out of pocket. They OGs should have checked them for this. I don't know no more, man. I don't know what the world coming to, but... Yeah. Wall banging Capone, okay? Man, uh, it's great. I bet you're going to change your name today. Y'all need to be... Y'all need to be... 
Oh, right now, before the homies line up and, 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 and come do some dumb shit to y'all. Y'all can hop off my dick with y'all bad asses. <laughs> and he don't understand, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that weapon ain't gonna save you, bro. How many bullets that got? You got more bullets behind them bullets? Like, this, this ain't... And, and if 10 people pull up, compared to that one pistol, you're not gonna make it, bro. That's what I'm saying. Niggas get a gun and think they Thanos. These niggas got all the stones. They they gonna make everybody disappear. It's not... <laughs> bro, this is reality. This ain't no joke, bro. You don't know what you started. You know? And this ain't just... You know, one hood that respected them, a lot of hoods respected them. You know what I mean? So you might think, oh, only just them. We should be no. Other people might come for you too. Yeah, yeah, try it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I ran out of hand I'm gonna have my hand out. Yeah. Yeah, man, it's crazy, man. That's crazy, bro. Like, they OG should have been like, yo, oh, no. Y'all thought they should have ran phase with them for that. The neighborhoods run phase with uh the Inglewood. Had all the OGs out there. Let them know it ain't taking it no further than that. But, nah, they, they you know what I'm saying? Now it's death between it. Now it's, it's just, oh, man. When is we gonna learn, man? That's crazy, man. Now, for anyone thinking Capone wouldn't show face, he made it clear he's outside, he ain't hiding, and fuck anybody that feels some type of way. But if you pay attention in the last clip, you can see none other than Indian Red, and Indian Red had posted the now infamous picture of Capone in front of the mural right after it was vandalized. But Indian Red wasn't always Inglewood family. Originally, he was banging Hollywood Piru out of Compton and switched hoods wow. for whatever reason. But it's rumored he left on bad terms, leading many to believe the hit came from them, and those 12 shots were personal. Now, Capone has been very vocal on Instagram since... And then that's what makes it worse. So now they can't even figure out who your shooter is because now you got so many enemies. It's crazy. Ian Red's death, but the post that got everyone's attention is when he wrote, I'm sick, blood. I just watched my homie die right in front of my eyes. Followed by another post saying, if any of the media pages post my homie on live, report it on IFG. People are taking these posts as meaning one of two things. Indian Red was on live when he was shot, and a screen-recorded video of him struggling to speak as he gasped for air has made its way through social media with people allegedly trying to sell his death video. The video itself is short, showing Indian Red smiling on live with another man before he looks up and gunshots start going off. You can see his face tense up as the first bullet strikes him as all 12 shots are fired. Yeah, the video crazy. I know y'all can find the video somewhere. I don't think he gonna show it on here, but... The, the video is crazy, man. It's like, when is we gonna learn, bro? Like, Nipsey tried to get us to come together, and it's always some knuckleheads somewhere, bro. Like, yo. I mean, I understand y'all got beef. That's the other side, but I can understand if Nipsey was dissing y'all, going in on y'all, and then y'all went back on him, but it ain't like that, G. He was on a different level, and he was an older dude. He was 33. And I believe 33, if I'm wrong, y'all can uh, let me know in the comments. But it's stuff like this. And me being from South Central, I done seen it all, man. It's just, it's not a good look, G. We need to stick together. Too many niggas doing two-for-one specials, man. Y'all niggas think it's cool. It's not cool. Two-for-one special? Y'all know what that is. Two people down. One black man dead. One in jail. We, we almost, bro. The man he's on live with says, what the fuck? As Indian Red looks up at the camera with blood on his face, struggling to speak as he mouths what appears to be help. The man he's on live with asks, where you at? And Indian Red barely says, I'm in Hawthorne. You can tell he must have been struck in his lung as he can barely get enough wind to form words. 
as he struggles to breathe before dropping the phone as he continues to gasp the air. With Capone's post, people have alleged Capone may have been present in the vehicle, but to me, it sounds like Capone was reacting to the video as he watched it with right. his own eyes. Police haven't reported anyone else as being present in the vehicle, and the shooting itself was reportedly a walk-up. And, and it's sad because he's young, bro. Bro, he's 21. You ain't going to be able to see 30, bro. And this is stuff I be talking about, man. That's why I be trying to tell the young dudes, don't go that route. Like, I had to talk to my cousin, yo. Don't go that route, it ain't it, man. Meaning whoever did it walked right up on the car before firing. And if two people were inside, you can almost guarantee both of them would have been shot. And both of them would have been on the Instagram live. But there's a chance Indian Red was get back for the Nipsey Hustle mural. And his death has nothing to do with his old hood. But one of the hoods that sought revenge. And as much as I'm sure they wanted to get Capone, they ended up getting him. What adds a whole new twist is the fact that Indian Red's brother took to Instagram with a few back-to-back -back story posts alleging his brother was set up by a female and three men. And it could have been, because where he was at, how ducked off the area was, it could have been that. You know what I mean? Because what was he chilling right there for in the first place? You know what I mean? And that bitch that set him up. I know that has to be the situation. That bitch and the three niggas. Y'all niggas is some hoes. For real. Hoes. I ain't gonna say nothing no more. Shit. Niggas do, don't do shit right. Niggas turn federal. So I'm gonna stay my ass up off of here. So niggas don't try and come and have the police on my fucking case. Whichever way it goes. This is nothing but a prime example of a continuing cycle of violence and right. only adds heat to the summer in Los Angeles County. Come on, man. Now, I was going to pop this off with the regular don't be going on Instagram live showing your location, but if you watch the video, it doesn't seem like he showed his location because he had to tell his homie I'm in Hawthorne and he can barely get the words out. Right. Meaning... Either he was set up like the brother said or someone got the drop on him. It's fucked up. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not posting the video, obviously. I'm sure there's ways y'all can go find it if you right, want to find it. Right, because I wasn't going to show and it anyway. watching it, you see how fast somebody goes from smiling and hanging out to dying. Right, in, in a flash, you know like... Have you people seen that video? That you know. Video to this, and you know, people like myself use that video to see the reality of what things are. This you mean to give awareness, like to show that we we gotta make a change out here. I don't know what he he really trying to say, but I'm what I'm doing reacting to this for is to show y'all like these streets ain't no joke. Don't play around. And the and the route that you think is gonna be a long route for you is not. Let me tell you something. Okay, what what is your end game being a game man? Because you know it's only two options. Y'all know this, though. Your brain knows this. Dead or in jail. What's so good about being dead or in jail? My question is, why do niggas love jail? Something ain't right. You know what I mean? None of our niggas should be in jail. Niggas, but I got a brother that's probably in jail right now. This nigga goes back to back to jail. For what? Man, There's nothing on. beautiful about death. There's nothing pretty about it. There's nothing to glamorize. And if you try to imagine how it feels hanging out, seeing someone, and then getting shot 12 times, you can't breathe. You can't make out words. The fear that's got to be going through your body. Mm. People say, oh, adrenaline. You don't feel nothing when you get shot. You can tell by the way he tensed up when he right. first got hit. He felt every single bullet that entered his body. But oh, this yeah. is gang banging at its finest. This is what it is, and this is what comes with it. So no one can really be surprised about it. No one right. can really shed tears as to why this happened to this innocent man. 
Yeah, because at the same time, he was one of the men disrespecting the Nipsey Hustle mural. Right. That's gang banging. That's not violation to go cross his shit out. Right. They were happy he got killed. And there's a video, just like there's a video of him. There's a video of Nick getting shot down and his head stomped on in a fucking pocket lot. Right. This is gang banging. This is what comes with it. There's no surprises. This is the. And that's why we gotta stop, man. I'd rather see y'all niggas fighting than niggas going to shoot niggas. It's ridiculous, bro. If niggas start fighting each other, it'll be a whole bunch of buff black niggas on the street. And you know cops don't want that, nigga. <laughs> I tell you that, boy. Expectation. You either kill like a gangster or die like a gangster, but either way it goes, it all ends the same fucking way. All I can say is karma is full circle. And what you put out, you're going to get back. And in some cases... Like Nipsey Hustle, it's not even about what you put out. Mm. It's just about what you're around. And if right. you're around certain people, certain things can happen. But hey, right. it's 1090 Jake. I'm rocking with y'all and y'all rocking with me. Till next time. Yeah, shout out to Jake for even, you know what I'm saying, giving us the info, info on all this. Of what he know and all that. All I seen was the video live and I said, wow. Because my homie sent it to me. I'm like, bro, this is crazy right here. Hold on. Like, we got to get out of that, man. Like, this ain't no joke, bro. That's why I got to move out the hood for real. This ain't it, man. And it's why I got to move out the hood. Why I feel like I got to move out the hood just because it's dangerous. You might be like, bro, you're a civilian. You ain't been through nothing. And, the, and that's the problem. You don't know what I've been through. So you might judge me off of, oh, he's just one of them weird YouTube dudes. But you don't know nothing. You don't know what I've been to. And I ain't going to tell you right now. Maybe I will. But let's keep going. It's your boy, Chimmy the General. I mean, let's keep going. I'm tripping. We about to get up out of here. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Anything y'all want to say, let me know in the comments. Let me know, man. We got to try to stop this. This is it's done for, man. You know what I mean? But anyway, make sure y'all like, comment, share, subscribe, all that. Hit me up on Instagram, man. It's your boy, Chim the General. And guess what? I'm out. Yeah. Figured out she was playing board games on my chest. I feel sorry, psych. I don't care if she was in trouble, pipe. Saying, yes, she loved a tan. Lying, said she loved a man. Her name should be Spider because she loved a wig. Had me guessing from the top of my dome like headbands. Everything was really good, I thought we really had a plan.